All right, today we're going to talk about songwriting, specifically potentially your songwriting and, and some frustrations you may have with that. You know, it's very common to get to a point in your whole process. Let's face it, most of us create these home project studios so we can record our own music, so we can create things and enjoy doing that. And some people like to share it with everybody. Some people like to keep it to the, just themselves for their own kind of just enjoyment or maybe the very close friends, whatever that may be. A lot of us get into it for that reason. And it's very common for folks to just get um, really kind of down and out because they feel like no matter what they do, they get something, they believe in it, they sit on it for a while, they go back and listen to it, and maybe it's just not that good. You know, maybe there's just something about it and you feel like, man, my songwriting just sucks. No matter how hard I try, no matter how many times I do it, I can't seem to write a great song. Maybe I should just get rid of everything, just sell it all, go buy a boat or something. I, I don't know, what, whatever your thing possibly may be. Just get rid of it all and move on. You know, I don't have what it takes in this particular example or someone saying that to themselves. But he, here's, here's what I would say to that. Why'd you get in this? To, why did you get into this to begin with? Why did you, did you, did you really start investing all of this money to write number one hits? Or did you do it and have you gotten into it because you just love that outlet for expressing yourself, expressing your ideas, whether it's musically, lyrically, melodically, whatever that may be. Uh, I think most of us realize that a huge percentage of us doing this at home will never make a penny out of this. And that's okay. If it's your passion and you enjoy it, then why worry about that stuff? A lot of people will spend a year writing 10 songs, you know, and, and they've got plenty of time to do it. And they have other great musicians and people around them to inspire them and help them. We don't always have that in our bedrooms. And, you know, so try to figure out of your songs, what is it that's holding you back? What is it that's making that song just be okay when in your head you hear it as great? And not all of us have the visionary aspect on how to get a song there and that's why most of us have, when you go in to make an album in a studio, you have a producer that guides you. A lot of people misuse this term producer. And ultimately, I guess at home, we are our own recording engineer and our producer at home. But the role of a typical producer is that to guide the band, to help them develop their songs, to keep them in the right direction, to deal with all of that outside source, and then utilizing the recording engineer to actually capture uh, ultimately that song. And so I strongly recommend that you find another person who enjoys doing it like this and you honestly critique each other's ideas, try to come up with different ways of doing things. It doesn't, I know you want it to be, or most likely many people want that song to be just theirs, but that's not really practical all the time unless you just are supernaturally talented and everything you write turns out great, AKA Lennon and McCartney. But at the end of the day, you probably wouldn't be watching this if that fit your bill, would you? Keep at it. Just keep writing those songs, okay? You may have to write a 1,000 to get one good one. You may have to write 2,000 to get one good one. You may crank out one good one tonight, and that be the last good one you ever crank out. Now, what are some things and some tools that you can use to help you learn how to structure and arrange your music to add life and energy to it? That's where most people or too many people make that mistake is there's just maybe they have limitations on their musicianship or something like that. And they don't necessarily have the ability to pull everything off and you got to figure out how to do it. Well, here's what I strongly encourage you to do. If you haven't done this already, find some songs, you know, four or five songs that, you, that are in the genre, the style of what you would like to create music in that particular genre along that style and learn how to play every part in those songs. Pay attention to when it builds up. Listen for what's building up when that's happening. If you'll notice, you'll typically start out with a verse in most songs, a bridge will come in, a little bit more energy, a little bit more volume, and then the chorus will kick in, and then more volume and more energy typically. And then it comes back to the transition, back to the second verse, and now the, the volumes drop back down a little bit to kind of tell the story of the song and the verses and then that would repeat throughout it. And so there's varying levels of energy going on in there. So kind of try to think through that process and find out, 
Okay, what are the different techniques that I can apply to do that? Simply by spending the time and learning the songs that you enjoy the most, at least you can get an idea of how that producer or how that artist or both of them together worked to be able to get that song and, and find out what it is that made that song so great. For most songs out there, for most songs, it's all about the melody of the singer, the style of the singer, having the right singer for the right song, and then ultimately what melody have they or you come up with to sing over top of that music. Now, there's a lot of services out there. Maybe you've got an okay voice, but maybe it's not a lead singer voice. That's me. I can sing in key, and I can carry my own to a certain degree. I have a limited range. I'm not a singer by, 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 you know, in, in and of itself, but I can carry my own if I need to to get ideas down, but I don't have that voice. So I've either got a partner with somebody else that I know who will come over, or a series of people that I know will come over and sing the song for me on the track in the way that I hear it in my head, but necessarily can't execute it uh, myself. The bottom line is, if you truly enjoy creating and writing music, never stop. You will get better. You may never get great. Let's just face it. If everybody had it, we'd all be rock stars, but not everybody's got it. Do the best you can and enjoy it. Don't set such high expectations on yourself that it really brings you down emotionally when you can't get there. Don't let that frustration just like anything else you want to master, just keep at it one after the other. Never stop. And always, always, always listen to this. Finish what you start because you're honing your skills. Your purpose of this, unless it flows out of you naturally, your purpose of going through all of this is to expand your knowledge, your skill set, both from a recording and an engineering aspect as well as an arrangement slash structure, uh, various layering that you may need to do or may not to do, knowing when to do something and when not to do it, and obviously getting that melody down in that vocal with the type of singer that really is going to match what your vision is for that particular song. You know, you can do this. You can. Like I said, it may not always be great. I think if you stick with it long enough, you will write at least one great song in your life. But my advice to you is don't ever give up if you've got a passion for it. Just keep at it, but don't just keep doing the same things over and over because you know what they say about that. If you're doing it over and over and it ain't working and ain't getting you different results, well, don't be an insane fool. You know what I'm saying, G-Money on account of We Got No Money? Until next time, hope you all have a great day, and till then, bye-bye.